So after you install Swipe, you'll want to go into the Language and Keyboard section on the phone, on the phone settings. And then you can see I have several keyboards um, installed, so I checked out Swipe as one of the options. You can also go into the Swipe settings, and there's all kinds of settings you can do with it. But also, I wanted to point out this tutorial. It really steps you through how to use Swipe, and it's really worth going through. Now I'm in the AK Notepad application, just so I can write text. And um, I'm going to go ahead and demo Swipe a little bit here. I've only been using this a little bit, so let's see if this will work. This is only about the fourth time I have used swipe and I'm just getting used to it. There, it worked perfectly. Now there's a few things I did that um, you'll see in the tutorial. Like one of the things when I did getting, to get that double T, I had to do a little loop in getting. Um, to capitalize letters, if the alphabet down here isn't already capitalized, you have to move your finger above the screen. So, okay, here's an example. Here's getting, G-E-T, and then loop a little on T, I-N-G. And then for the punctuation, you could see the apostrophes down there. So I want to capitalize the I, so, well, in this case, it's already capitalized. Um, there we go. If I wanted to capitalize the I now, I press I and go above the screen like this. I and then apostrophe M. You really don't have to be that um, precise with where you put your finger. It's pretty good at guessing, and if it doesn't know right away, it will pop up those options of words like it did for me on fourth. Um, you really don't have to hit the button exactly, so you can go really fast, and it knows pretty much what you're trying to type, or it can come up with some good guesses. So I'm really impressed with it so far.